Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and these are the 20 things that you need to know before you buy OnePlus X. Guys, I'm pretty sure most of you already know most, most of them but I think you'll find at least 5 things that you might have not known before. So guys, let's get started. In the box you get the phone, USB cable, power adapter, a case, yes a case. I have seen companies giving screen guards but a case is the first time for me. And finally a SIM card ejector. I would like to point out that along with the phone you'll also have a great experience unboxing it. It has one of the best packaging I've seen ever. So going on, it is covered by a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and back and it is scratch resistant so over time you'll definitely find scratches on it so I would definitely suggest you to put on a tampered glass on front and back. On the back we have a non-removable glass panel so you can't change the back panel but you can use the OnePlus One slip-on cases which have different textures. Next this device doesn't come with an NFC or an infrared sensor or a fingerprint scanner. I don't know why OnePlus chose to not put an NFC even in this device after all the feedback they got for OnePlus 2. So anyway, this device doesn't have an NFC, infrared sensor or a fingerprint scanner. So going on we have the capacitor buttons and the on-screen buttons we can choose whatever we want from the settings but the capacitor buttons are not backlit. So going on the software running on OnePlus X is not up to the mark. There are a few bugs here and there and we hope that OnePlus One fixes them very soon. For example, there is an option to move the apps to the SD card but when I try to move it, I actually get an error saying that insufficient storage. Next, it doesn't show information about the external SD card in the storage section and I need to enable an option to access files in my OTG pendrive. So these are some small minor software issues which I hope OnePlus will fix very soon. Next, coming to the performance while gaming, there is a slight lag when I am playing games at high resolution or high graphics so you can check that out in my gaming video I'll leave a link for that in the description area below this video once again it might be a software issue so this might be fixed in the future updates this device is running the latest version of android that is 5.1.1 and it will surely get android 6.0 marshmallow very soon and by that I mean at least two to three months for a stable version well adding to the point earlier it is running the same oxygen ui on top of android with just few customizations and it will look similar to oneplus one and oneplus two except it has a dark mode inbuilt in this version going on this device is powered by a 2500 milliamp non-replaceable battery as of now the battery life isn't really that great you get around three to four hours of screen on time but with few bug fixes and updates i'm pretty sure you can get it about four to five hours on heavy usage so and the charging is pretty good too. It charges from 5 to 100 in just about 2 hours. So if you want to know more about the charging, you can check out my other video. I'll leave a link for that in the description area. It has a 5 inch Full HD AMOLED screen which, which looks really amazing. And when you add in the dark mode and, and the phone being in black, it looks really stunning. Coming to the camera, it is pretty good for the price. On the right, we have the 30 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture which takes great shots it is slightly lagging in the sharpness but the overall images are really good as always with low light you have a lot of brains so anyway on the front we have the 8 megapixel camera which is really great for selfies it comes with an option to use the phone as a dual sim phone or use a single sim with expandable storage yeah right it's a dual sim phone and you can have expandable storage but not both at the same time so you can have either a single sim and an expandable storage or you can use this phone as a dual sim with only 16 GB of internal storage out of which you get only about 10 GB for user apps. Next this device comes with some nice screen gestures like double tap to wake and when you draw a circle when the display is off you directly open camera. If you draw V it will turn on the flash it acts like a toggle actually and if you draw lines using two fingers it will it'll pause or play the music and you have some other gestures. Coming to the performance of this device, under the hood it is having a Snapdragon 801 chipset with 3GB of RAM and it looks very similar to the OnePlus One but actual performance is different from that of OnePlus One. Actually with the smaller screen size I thought OnePlus X would perform better than the OnePlus One for some reason. I thought OnePlus X might perform better than the OnePlus One but the benchmark results show that OnePlus One still performs better than OnePlus X. So for that you can check out my comparison video. And going on, this is the second Android device and the only company that's currently giving us iPhone like alert slider on the left side. Though it might seem like a simple addition but it might prove to be much more useful 
than you ever thought. So going on, at least in India we have a great alternative for OnePlus X which is MI4 which has very similar specifications but which comes with 64 GB of storage and infrared sensor for just 1000 rupees more. So if I had to choose between One X and MI4, I would definitely go for MI4 because of the overall package, because of the better specs and performance. As of now OnePlus One is selling this device through invite system only but from December it will start selling it on weekly open sales. And guys this is the final thing as this is a new brand and just the third device by the company the after sale support isn't that good but it's a growing company and I'm pretty sure it will improve over time. And I'm definitely sure that as it is a growing company it will take much more better care of the customers than the existing companies like Samsung or HTC. So there you have it guys 20 things that you need to know before you buy a OnePlus X. So do let me know if I missed anything and correct me if I am wrong anywhere. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.